Uh, we're students from Interaction Design and Technologies at Chalmers, and I'm Fanny, and you're... Yes, my name is Bruno. Uh, and we've done our master thesis at Interactive Institute, and our result is a workshop that we created together with VGR, Vestra Jätelands regionen, uh, in order to enhance the meeting between patients and doctors. Exactly, and we do this with a 360 video uh, using uh, a Unity app and uh, Google Cardboard. Uh, so the participants get to see the meeting either from the perspective of the doctor or the patient. And our hope is that the VR experience, the subjective embodied experience in the meeting will invoke, evoke some kind of response. We've designed a workshop that includes four steps or, or six steps. One is preparations and one is conclusion as well, but mainly four steps. And the first one is introduction. The second one is meeting. Third one is redesign and the fourth is discussion. In the first introduction phase, uh, the participants of the workshop, which are four people from the healthcare business, uh, they get to watch a movie with either from a patient's perspective or from a doctor's perspective. And then we use something we call silent reflection, where the participants get to write down their thoughts that they appeared during the film and then they share it with the other person sharing the same perspective and during the second phase which is called meeting the participants get to experience the workshop uh, or the meeting between the patient and the doctor through VR. This is the app that contains all the important films that you need during the workshop during the first phase of the workshop, you watch a film from uh, either the patient's or the doctor's perspective, and then you press the button here, and you get an introductory film to your perspective. Uh, during the second phase of the workshop, you can watch the meeting through a VR device, mm -hmm. and then you put the phone in the device, like so, and these are basically, I mean, just plastic versions of Google Cardboard, so uh, it's all in the phone. Then you just press the button and close it. And put the goggles on, and then you put the headphones on, and then you're in the meeting. Mm -hmm. So now Bruno is experiencing the meeting from the patient's or the doctor's perspective and he's doing this all by himself, not being influenced by me yeah. being around. And when the film is done, he gets back to the silent reflection and then we share our experiences uh, through the team. And that was the second phase. And during the third phase, we uh, get the participants to, to redesign the meeting, what was wrong during the meeting that we saw what can we do better? And the last phase, which is discussion, aims to lift the questions even higher, like how can we change the system? So the idea is we're using a mental model or a metaphor that is similar to a board game. So you have your instructions, which are questions and the steps you need to take. Also a little inventory of the things you need for this step. And then you go through the steps, and then you have these boards, we call them. So the, f uh, the first board is the your character board. And then you write down some notes on these post-it notes, okay. and you place them. And this is the redesign board. So you have before, during, after. And then finally we have the change board, and then you post your favorite ideas on that. So that's the workshop. What have we learned <laughs> yes. during this process? Um, well, that's a good question. We have learned that it's um, the best way of sort of getting any anywhere is just to iterate, iterate, iterate. Uh, we've done a lot of tests, uh, and it's um, sort of re small refinements and always just testing as soon as possible. That's the best best way of doing yeah, it. Yeah, the best way to do it. We started out with a general idea of what we wanted, and then 
as the sort of as we progressed, we sort of refined and created a much better flow throughout the workshop. So mm -hmm. the first sort of part is about identifying the characters, getting a picture of them, and then you see the meeting, and then you sort of discuss around the meeting. And then it's a redesign, so you have to think about what could we do differently. And then finally, we sort of elevate it to a even more sort of uh, abstract level of systemic change or structural change. So yeah, I think we sort of just build a natural flow and also with the timing and uh, sort of the everything got its sort of, mm -hmm. yeah, the right order, the right time, everything. But it took a lot of work and sort of we had to cut a lot of steps and just experiment basically. Yeah, and the first thing we learned, because during the first workshop we had a lot of text and that was yeah. just not going to work at all. Yeah, people don't like to so read. So more yeah. pictures, less text, uh, keep the information short because mm. The, the participants will figure it out. We don't need to tell them everything, just like in a game. Yeah, okay. yeah. And it, it, it can be hard to communicate the, the, this fact to the stakeholders, obviously, but um, just getting them into a sense that what they're seeing is a it's a work in progress that it's uh, it's gonna it's gonna get more refined and especially to get them to focus on what we want them to focus on, which is not necessarily the look of sort of the material, but the structure, the questions, sort of what is the intent or the sort of purpose of the material. Mm -hmm. And that is quite a sort of quite difficult. Yeah, I think that's the best takeaway. Mm -hmm. Also, I mean, if the technology can fail, it will fail. So <laughs> always have some form of backup or <laughs> Yeah. Or be prepared for it, have some, yeah. And another thing that we learned and that we discussed today, I think, is because today we had a workshop with 16 people yeah. at the same time in four different groups, and that, that was kind of chaotic, but still, when we walked around listening to these people, it was interesting discussions. Mm -hmm. So it's just being able to allow this chaos can be good as yeah. well doesn't al always need to be super structured to get a good result. Because, I mean, everything else is sort of, yeah, peripheral. I mean, the, sort of obviously the technology can get better. The, I mean, we can work on like minor changes in the, in the material itself, in the looks and feel of it, but uh, sort of the structure is the most important thing, and that, mm -hmm. that's what you get when you test, basically. In the yeah, the method needs to work. Yeah. Not the, like the technology, it will change. We, yep. can't, we can't do anything about the technology. We can just like when to put things ahead in front of people, like when should you do different things? Then the te technology just needs to work, yep. I guess. But that's it. Yeah.